Hello everyone, and welcome to our first virtual open weekend at Monash University, Faculty of Art, Design and Architecture, and in particular to the Department of Design. My name is Jean Borden, Head of the Department of Design, and it's my very great privilege to introduce our department to you. But before we begin, and especially if you're joining us from within Australia, I would like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the lands on which we reside and pay our respects to their elders, past, present and emerging. As a designer, I'd also like to acknowledge Harold Thomas, who nearly 50 years ago created the Aboriginal flag, one of the most enduring and potent pieces of communication design of our time. There are few works of design that have so successfully united such a breadth of communities with their politics, their lands, their stories and their people. At Monash we strive to utilise design as a means by which we can make significant, meaningful and creative contributions to the world. Design is a transformational agent through which we can translate ideas into positive living experiences for all living things, be it through objects, images, spaces or interactions. With this philosophy at the forefront of 2020, we began the year with a mindful resilience. Following a summer of bushfires and amid an exploding global pandemic, we called on our students to begin their learning journey with us, using design as an agent of optimism. Within the framework of a single A4 page and with limited resources and time, we challenged them to create works that demonstrated how design might undo an overwhelming anxiety. The result was an exhibition of images that addressed everything from climate change to gender identity, mental health to racism. If ever we needed proof that the world would pass into caring hands, this simple unassuming project provided the evidence. The results can still be found on the MARTA website today. While you apply for a single degree, the Bachelor of Design, there are four pathways that you can undertake once you begin your journey. Communication design, industrial design, spatial design, and our most unique offering, collaborative design. All of our degree pathways are recognised by Australia's peak design body, the Design Institute of Australia. I'll go into greater detail about each discipline a little later, but I'd like to encourage you to visit the individual discipline presentations also. But first, I'd like to demonstrate the simple and easily navigated structure of our degree. All students enter one single unit, Collaborative Design Studio One. In this first major studio experience, you'll explore all the possibilities of design through multiple lenses. You'll be exposed to communication strategies, three-dimensional design and spatial practices, technologies and design thinking. The unit allows you to explore your options before committing to your principal studio pathway. This provides an ideal opportunity for those students who have not yet decided on which design discipline they want to pursue and instead can spend a semester exploring all of them. From second semester, students select their major studio option, be it communication, industrial or spatial design. From the diagram you can see how applied our program is. All the orange represents studio practice, but most electives, identified in purple, are also predominantly studio focused. Importantly, the studio is supported by theory, which provides you with the capacity to articulate meaning and understand the context in which your work operates in the world. Our degree is three years in duration, but there's also an opportunity to apply for an optional honours year also. We also have a number of double degrees with business, information technology and media communication in the Faculty of Arts. All the disciplines can double with these degrees and complete both in four years. A special double degree with engineering is also available, but only for those studying industrial design. Our studio experience is at the core of all of our education, and this is where you develop your skills and knowledge to be a designer who contributes purposely to the world. We also have a unique flexibility built into our program. You may know exactly your path and pursue it from the very beginning, as indicated here. But the beauty of starting in collaborative design is you can change your mind and select an alternative pathway after a semester of study. You can also begin one degree and duck out of it for a semester to experience another studio discipline, then return in the second half of your second year. Our most unique opportunity, however, lies in the ability for you to build capabilities across the different studios. 
If you take this option, you complete your degree with two bespoke collaborative design studios that permit you to bring together your unique collection of skills gathered from across the discipline studios. So what does a designer need? At Monash, we don't require a folio, but we do want you to be interested in the world and to be curious. We nurture that curiosity, but we teach you the skills you need to generate the ideas that will have real impact in the world. Regardless of your discipline, this philosophy is key to all of our studio programs. In communication design, students learn to shape the visual language of our world to ensure messages are clear, understood and purposeful. Storytelling is a principal role communication designers play, be it through images, motion design, typography, publications or digital experiences like apps, websites and interactive services. We also ask our students to carefully consider what they put into the world in relation to the environment. Here we see a packaging design for a light in which the pack becomes the light itself. There is no waste at all and the form becomes an inexpensive part of the visual story of someone's home. Industrial designers imagine the future of products. Products that enhance our experiences in the world, be it through furniture, infrastructure, vehicles or items that intersect with digital services. In this example, we can see how important design research is to the project outcome. Using the data from the World Health Organization, Amy recognised the need for safe blood transportation to remote areas of the globe. She created Thermal Life, a safe, inexpensive blood transportation device and system that won the Australian James Dyson Award in 2016. Spatial design is more than interior design. It examines the design of spaces that are inside, outside, public, private, or even virtual. Spatial designers examine the experiences and behaviours that encourage through the deployment of light, textures, technologies, and form. In this example, Shani has reimagined the underpass structures of our city, translating them from scary, abandoned spaces to active, safe, and environmentally diverse sanctuaries. The design combines form and space, but unites it with colour, sound and lighting. Collaborative design, or co-design, is the practice for which designers bring together diverse skills and deploy them in various collaborative opportunities. Collaborative designers work with a vast array of experts, from other designers to medical staff, policy makers to community members. Importantly, they design with the end user front of mind, ensuring their needs are addressed. Collaborative design at Monash is in its infancy, but we introduce everyone to it in semester one. Design is no longer a singular practice, and our graduates need to know how to work and communicate with each other and those outside their fields of expertise. Collaborative design taps into the curiosity of the students to create unique ideas and opportunities, like this swimsuit that responds in the same way as a coral reef to excessive pH levels in seawater. It creates a visible and visceral representation of coral bleaching that is understood by both the wearer and those around her. Regardless of the discipline, our students all have the opportunity to work on industry projects or seek outside internships that can contribute to their degree. This year, we're undertaking our third collaborative industry project with OI Glass, one of the world's largest glass manufacturers. In this example, the students were required to reimagine the juice bottle as a means to educate people in the correct serving size for juice. So successful was the prototype, it's now used by Emma and Toms. Our research labs at MARTA also provide an opportunity for collaboration and demonstrate how important it is to intersect design expertise. In this example, from XYX Lab, sexual harassment data has been represented as a huge immersive information graphic to ensure people realise that they are the data, not just someone reading it. This is a collaboration between a communication designer, a spatial designer, and an architect. As mentioned earlier, a third of our degree is elected, meaning you can create a bespoke and unique learning experience based on your own interests and vocational ambitions. Your selection can be as diverse as you like, including choosing units from outside our department, be an industry-based internship, or carefully curated into a selected area of study, as suggested here. While travel will undoubtedly be restricted in the foreseeable future, we will one day return to our travelling studios. In the past, our students have travelled to Italy, 
to the Monash Prato Center featured here, but also to Korea, Japan, China, Mexico, and New York City. But while travel has been delayed, we've been able to bring special international guests to the studio experience via virtual means. Designers from all over the world have given guest lectures to our students throughout 2020. While travel may be restricted for some time, we're confident we will return to our excellent home facilities in 2021. From the studio spaces and technology labs to the library you can see here at Caulfield, we have all the facilities you need for a contemporary, up-to-date design education. While our facilities are excellent, our staff, visiting lecturers and alumni networks are extraordinary. We have some of the world's leading designers working for us as visiting staff and some of the world's leading designers are graduates of the Monash program. Our graduates are working across the globe, proving a Monash degree is a passport to design opportunities around the world. But what makes Monash design different is our community. Housed within a comprehensive university with artists and architects, our students enjoy a richly diverse but connected community. Whether it's online via Zoom or face-to-face, -face, our studio culture of design at Monash generates a feeling of belonging and a sense of being part of something important, an exciting, sustainable and positive future. Thank you for your time and we look forward to catching up with you soon.